Okay, now I'm recording. Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to Swag and Sorcery. You thought I was done? I kind of thought I was done too, but I knew I was going to be back to this for one specific reason. I haven't done the never-ending adventure yet. Let's go take a look at that. Get them, space people. I wonder how... Uh, I should check the uh, nerfs on my equipment and see how that went. I should probably also turn down the sound effects, because they're not fun to listen to, honestly. Okay. Oh! They did add a heal and relax button there. Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, in that case, I'm going to turn this down to three so it's not as fast. Okay, so in that case, we've got some things to maybe think about. Competition available. I guess I'll join it. We'll work on it later. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to do? For starters, we should probably make a bunch of money. I don't know how much money I have. I wonder, oh, I can upgrade this. I'm going to upgrade it once. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back to town. I don't really care whether or not they win or lose. So I want to double check. So it looks like they nerfed the skin and skin and leather, but they didn't nerf my skin and leather. Just all new skin and leather. Well, that's kind of nice. Give Calico. Yes. And... They changed it so it no longer says cheater. That's good, because that was extremely confusing. Because I am cheating, in fact. Admittedly, it's just speed hacks, but, like, I'm going to be honest with you, with you. For everybody that shamed me for being really confused by that, it really wasn't clear uh, on, like, a cursory examination. Because I didn't really want to get bogged down reading this every single time. It wasn't entirely clear which, which was, like, a failure state and which was not. Um, anyway, so in this one... We got mildly screwed, but that's okay. So I'm, I'm just going to keep chucking these guys out. Maybe we should stop it at this. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the point where these guys are going to get, like, overwhelmed here. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. I was going to turn down sound effects. How do I do that? Settings. Sound effects. I'm just going to turn them down to, like, half. And we'll go from there. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Perfect. I'll just let them fight whatever. So can you guys... Okay, so these guys cannot do the Endless Adventure as well. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, actually. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to have these guys start rolling out on previous levels. Let's start training up Aiden and Mona. I mean, I'm just going to chuck all my money into one, then I'll chuck all my money into the other. And we'll just send them out on something. So, five comper ingots, five chestnut planks. Chance to craft an enhancing item by 5%. Okay. Cure for allergies. 10% chance of enchanting an enemy who attacks them so they won't pick this target character for the next target. Oh, that's kind of nice. We gotta go get them some wolf pelts. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep sending these guys on the never-ending adventure. It'd be really nice if there was a, a repeat fight button in this game. It's, it's interesting from an incremental game that, you know, it doesn't really increment. You just kind of hit that third stage and then it stops. And I feel like this game kind of needs some weird, like, New Game Plus or, like, extra quests or something. Give magic chips. Now, unfortunately, uh, I, I stand by my original statement of... It really does feel like a lot of these these side uh It really does feel like a lot of these these like little pop-up events mean nothing and do nothing. It's just I'm not gonna say garbage. Uh, let's see, so I don't actually have any equipment to work with. And they're still making me small amounts of money. I think I might outfit them purely with money farming equipment. And we'll go from there. I should probably upgrade the never-ending adventure. So at this point... No, I can't upgrade this. We do have... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We did already upgrade this. We just got to get some more meteorite ingots. Unimaginable ingots. Cool. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at what we can make with a lot of these things. Okay, heal and relax. That is so nice. Let's see. So what do we what do we do with these guys? 
I mean, realistically, I can just kind of keep training them low-key, and then at some point I will pull them out and, uh... Because, yeah, they're, they're actually getting uh, new blueprints. I love the fact that you can just send them to the spa. I'll pull them out and make some better equipment. Once I have, like, a whole bunch of resources. I guess this is why I should probably be on times 5 speed, because this is actually still a little slow. And for everybody wondering how I, how I have uh, speed hacks on, it's a little program called Cheat Engine. Google it. Whoops. Oh, that was a little slow. Let's upgrade that again. I want to go until they're, they're having troubles. Luckily, they also seem to be picking up quite a number of blueprints here, which is good. If we go to the swag shop... Oh, and these are blueprints that I cannot, uh, I can't get normally. Well, they seem to be having no problems here, so... I'll just keep sending them out, and I'll keep sending these guys out after that. And yeah, we're getting small amounts of money, so I can keep training up Aiden and Mona. Uh... Yeah... Trying to decide. Wow, there's a lot of resources here. It'd be kind of neat, neat if you could get the occasional, um... It'd be neat if you could get the occasional, like, bundle of the previous resource type in, like, high volume or something. Just, like, a butt-ton of slime for some reason. But I guess it, that'd be kind of cheatsy. Actually, no, no, no. I know how that would work. You could actually increase the difficulty of everything. Once you beat the game, you can go back to previous zones, and it'll maybe give you upgraded blueprints of what you already have? I don't know, like, it actually probably wouldn't take much to make this game nearly infinite. You just keep adding, like, you know, the, the skin and leather 12, you know, use some Roman numerals in there just because. And... Well, they don't... They didn't even have a dialogue for that one. I I stand by the the my point that the, the little side objectives are actually worthless. There might be a... There might be some use to them, but, like, it certainly doesn't feel like it sometimes. Okay, well, times five speed's working pretty well. If I remember it, like, past this, got a little ridiculous. Oh, well. Let's just send them out again. Ridiculous speeds. Might as well pick up a lot of resources while we're here. The one problem is the uh, results screen bugs out and won't work. Actually, it looks like I can't even interact with stuff. That's that's an issue. So let's let's try like seven times because it works at five times. Uh, let's see. That yeah, does mean I have to just do some more like fiddly UI bits. Well, that's okay. Yeah, so it looks like seven times functions. More than that might be a little bit much. But yeah, I, I can't imagine playing this game at regular speeds. I, I was watching uh, my buddy Price do so, and it just looked slow. And I understand, like, a lot of people will be playing this kind of as an, as an idle game. Just kind of uh, actually relaxing. Did we stop shortly? We probably should. I've got a decent amount of resources. We can, we can start refreshing equipment. Also, we might want to figure out what we need. Because, yeah, I've got some goodies. The thing is, like, ultimately, I... Uh, what I could do, but it would be insane and expensive, is I could actually train up... Uh, that one guy to be, like, the Omni, Omni character and just have a couple of different gear sets for crafting. I know somebody has suggested that a while back, that have, like, one character... Uh, like, build a set that's specifically, like, pure agility. I could do that. I'm not sure if I want to, though. Because I think that would be a giant pain in the butt, switching out gear sets every single time I want to sit down and craft. It would work if I had, like... What, four characters in reserves? that I was using specifically for crafting. Like, I can see that working quite well, actually. But otherwise, eh. Yeah, we're still getting blueprints up there, so I'm just gonna kinda let this go for some time. 
And unfortunately, this this probably does work better as like a pseudo idle game. You you let it run while you're rendering a video, working on whatever, uh, not paying attention, watching a TV show, then you kind of tune back in and and do a little bit more like management. But for me, as a person that's specifically focused on the game, it's actually kind of tough uh, to like go at that speed. Cause yeah, I want to see the ending. I mean, admittedly, at this point, we have seen the ending. Question. Can you go above level 50? You can. Okay, so level 50 is most definitely not the, uh... Is not the level cap. But it probably is... Like, kind of close. Well, not kind of close. I bet level 100 is the max. It just gets progressively more expensive to the point where, like... How and why would you ever get past that point? Yeah, I have yet... I mean, I always just say yes to these, and it always gives me the negative. I... I like I said, I think I'm just going to give up on those little side objectives. They don't seem worth my time. We should upgrade these guys. I mean, honestly, we should upgrade both. See what kind of good gear we can get. Yeah, we keep finding, like, Bandit's Helmet, too. So maybe we are actually finding the better blueprints along the way. Like, for the, uh, for scaling up old gear. It, I mean, that would be the smart thing to do for them. I just kind of wish that the endless mode was, like, truly endless and you just send them out until they die. And otherwise, they just, like, routinely stop in and just grab resources. Like, it would be kind of nice if you just send them out and they just, they just go. And, you know... You didn't have to worry about managing, healing, or relaxing. That just kind of came out of the uh, the money that you make or money that you have. And we can't heal or relax anymore. That's when you pull them back or something like that. Um, let's see. We might as well do some inventory management. So s people are also uh, telling me that you can actually... What is he? He is intelligence. So is she, actually. I'll have to look into who's good at what. Okay, but yeah, apparently if your characters are feeling good, they will actually... Oh, you still don't have any eye jelly. Maybe because I gotta mate, uh, process it. Alien liquid, hooves of truth, petroleum, bubble fur, purified essence, restless teeth, acid crystal, sugar bone, something eye jelly. There it is. Conductive powder. So yeah, if your characters are feeling happy, they'll actually potentially double produce things, which I had no idea. Meteorite ore, that's titanium. Well, we might as well process everything. Slowly. Then go from there. I just realized, like, he's level 16. We, we've we really been kind of slumming it here. Oh, that's okay. The fact that this takes time is... Uh, no. Okay, do we get the... Uh, let's get the acid crystals next. I don't know of these which I'm going to need. So we're also going to need petroleum. Well, I have two petroleum. Okay. Yeah, he did actually produce twice as much calico fabric. So we're also going to need conductive powder. I, we're going to have to just keep rolling that endless mode for a very long time if we want to actually get the good stuff. It truly might be worth it to assemble a team for one versus the other. So Mona is strength strength Agility and Stamina. Aiden is... Intelligence and Stamina. Okay. So, he's feeling good. Let's make those Meteorite ingots. And she's feeling good, so let's make the... Stunning Leather. What else can we make? 
Oh, I should have relaxed her beforehand. No, well, I mean, it matters, it doesn't matter. It, it matters. Okay, do we make a bunch of cursed ingots? Maybe, I'm not not actually sure. Let's let's take a look at what new blueprints we have. So Iron Greaves 2. Yeah, so it really is just an upgraded version. Very worthwhile if you want to get a whole bunch of stamina. We have living metal, we just need unimaginable ingots and silk fabric. Pulse armor is fire resistance. And that's agility. So these are straight up level 20. So anything anything with two in the name is 100% worth going after. So unimaginable ingots require hooves of truth and restless teeth. So I'm just probably going to process a lot of this stuff down. And then we'll go right back out there, because I apparently need a lot. Because we need bubble fur and something. I'll see what I can make. I'll see, I'll see if I can get, like, one or two things to Restless Teeth. Make, like, ten. Let's see. There was something. Unfortunately, I need that liquid metal for well, something. Oh, uh, I my decision to do this might not have been the best. That's eh, okay. Okay, so that gets us twenty unimaginable ingots. So, at the very least, that gets us... So, we still need iron-hard planks. No, 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 no. Yes, we need iron-hard planks. So, what do you need for those? We need sugar bones. Well, we can make a bunch of those. Yeah, we might as well make her some equipment that's actually worth something. Okay, so let's train up Kazuki. Kazuki's agility at. Yee, pretty pricey. Okay, so what can she make as well? Wolf boots. Defender, sailor boots has an int bonus, and bandit mask has second chance, plus one other thing. Hoping for more bonus effects, but I guess not. Okay, well in that case, we want to make the boots of suffering too. Oh, do we? The one problem with that is that gets rid of our pants. Do we have any new weapons that we've learned how to make? Acid Sprayer 2. Well, what about you? Novice's boots and a dreamer's uniform. Well, we could make this. We need unbreakable teeth and sunny fabric, though. Which we lack a lot of resources for. Well, at the very least, I guess let's make the silk fabric. And then just send these guys out. So... <sighs> it's... Awkward. We can make it work. I really wish I could actually track what was special damage. I'm assuming it's stuff like orbs. Let's see, do we have any cool? We have the fission sphere. Okay, advanced crafting. The crafting capacity of each building depends on the attributes of the character. Okay, so they're tutorializing something we already know. So in that case, I'm going to just make several fission spheres. Okay, never mind. I'll make one. It's just going to keep yelling at me about that. What is he using out of curiosity? 
Hoshi has a moon staff. It's a decent moon staff, but it's not amazing. Let me make a better one. Oh, the moon staff for stamina. That's that's why. Well, we don't have anything that gives him straight intelligence, do we? We got the prophet's orb, but that's not actually that helpful. I'll make a couple. I mean, we seem to be loaded on resources. Make one more and then I'll switch over to demonic staff. Never mind, can't make a single demonic staff even if I wanted to. More moon staves! You will make staves for us and that will make us money, presumably. I guess the other thing to do would be to make like a whole bunch of skin and leather, because at this point we're probably good to go on that stuff. Okay, well, that's fine. So let's let's do this. I let's see. Let's go to Hoshi. Because we've got to have one of these that's better. Stamina, agility, and agility. Stamina, stamina, and vampirism. Okay, so that's good. Oh, Rosaline also is using a moon staff. Okay, Moriko has one of these, so we can increase our damage by an amount, but we do not want to lose that stamina bonus. Okay, so you're... Neither of these guys can use this stuff, unfortunately. I guess I should probably raise their stats. Well, for now, let's just uh, let's just upgrade this again and send these guys out. And you guys will just kind of keep doing whatever the heck. Cause yeah, these guys have to be level 19. I mean, hell, half of my characters, my like base party, aren't even uh, aren't even level 19. I guess they're my B team. I'm kind of lazy about that. For the most part, the skin and leather really did just, like, offset a lot of the direct challenge in this game. And I realize that's why they nerfed it. Mildly unfortunate, but kind of totally understandable. Anyway, so at this point, we're just going to want to let them go for a while. I... It's interesting how much, like, more there, there is technically left for me to go. And I'm curious, like, if it keeps going, like, if we can start getting blueprints for, like, you know, level 3 boots. Maybe. Actually, quite possibly. I'm a little leery of, like, seeing that sort of thing, just because it's, like, after a certain point, I should probably s stop? Uh, in fact, I'm kind of in that situation of, like, well, I more I mean I've more or less completed the game, as kind of disappointing as the ending was. Um... Oh, I wonder... I wonder... It's probably not Moon Shoes, but I wonder if we get the upgraded version of any of the money farming items. If it actually comes with a massive... Uh, funding increase. Well, Novice's Jacket and the Courtier's EP. Keep upgrading it. They're not getting wrecked here. So, so far, so good. And honestly, I think what I need to do is mostly just level this group up and probably replace their weaponry with stronger stuff. As long as I don't switch out the pants, I'm good. But the other problem is just like all the spare effects are actually really good. Like the, the wooden armor is amazing. For that for that crit bonus, it's it's so good. Yeah, so I'll probably keep upgrading this one as we go along. Probably just keep sending these guys out on the lower tier. I I think no matter what I'm gonna Oh, I should probably figure out what I need for the the better like wolf mask and stuff. Because what I should do is set these guys up so that they don't even need the skin and leather. They can just plow through uh plow through fights without, maybe? And make them like full money farm. Because I can't I can't do the endless mission 
on uh, two groups at once. I can only have one group. So the, the second group should be really hard, like, money farmers. Which means I should probably figure out exactly what I need for the, uh, for the other wolf mask. Let's see. Unfortunately, it is never ending. I just wish I didn't have to manage these guys to send them out repeatedly. It could be nice if I just, like, came back and, you know, in 20 minutes and, like, had a bunch of materials and then I'd go from there. Like, an actual endless setting. Once you've beaten a level, you should be able to just tell them to do it until they die. Effectively, with, with healing and so on and so forth. So you're more on the management side of things. Which really means I should probably try Dragon Cliff at some point. I played Weapon Shop Fantasy, and I don't know if that's really changed that much uh, since I last played it. But I know a lot of people have been suggesting Dragon Cliff. And I'm not sure if I immediately have the time, but I do have the like desire to try that game out. Well, we just we did get the blueprint for Space Armor too, so I might want to actually go double check uh, and see if I if see if I can actually build that, because if I remember right, Space Armor gives money, because they're both wearing it. So let's make it for them and then uh, figure out if, if it does. Well, I say let's make it for them, but really, I need, like, an insane amount of materials. Eh, no, I should probably I should probably send them out anyway. Okay, so let's, let's figure out what do I need for Space Armor 2. Oh, it looks different. Oh, and it gives agility. Wasn't... Wasn't space armor? Oh, yeah. They actually have... Space armor 2 actually has a completely different stat set. Well, what do we need for a glorious, glorious leather? We need something. I need to raise her stamina, which means... Let's go back here. There was... Iron Greaves. I can make one set. We also have Moon Shoes, too. So slightly lower physical defense, but potentially higher. Interesting. Well, I guess let's make the Iron Greaves. And let's build the Moon Shoes. Okay. So that is Morico. I'm going to hold on to that skin and leather, I think. Yeah, the Iron Greaves aren't that good. My stats aren't good enough, interestingly enough. I guess it doesn't surprise me too much. Okay, let's work on that. Ultimate Weapon. Aiden three Cluck Clucks. In each adventure, the character receives a random bonus to one of their main attributes. Okay, that's kind of nice. Can I just have these guys nude punch their way through this? The answer is no. Okay, so nude, nude punching is a no-go. Which one of them is the mage? He is. I don't think we can use the rest. And then strength. The extra stamina is always good. And we do have the skin and leather. I guess I'll put the skin and leather on him for the time being. Even if it's not immediately or amazingly useful for what I'm doing. Oh, let's see. What else can I make here? Unfortunately, like 90% of this stuff I straight up can't make without like an insane amount of grinding. Which is definitely a bit of a, a dampener. 
on things. Let's see. So what do we what do we need to make the courtier's EP? That's ah, just dullness. Actually, you know that might be good for him. What's he currently have? Oh, he's got the lower tier one. Let's see. So we need some unimaginable ingots. Okay, so we got three times as much. So I just need some glorious leather. Which requires... Some more bubble fur. Okay, how much of that can I make? Quite an amount, actually. Let's see. I already made the unimaginable ingots. Let's make as much glorious leather as we possibly can. I should probably work on upping their stats even further. Okay, so we don't want to do the wolf boots. We do want to make this. Can I make purified essence? Yes, I can. And she's feeling good. Okay, do we get we get 30? Just like like I was hoping. So this gets me space armor, which ups my agility by a considerable amount. And that is really good space armor too. We do lose the damage from critical hits by a considerable considerable amount, but that's a nice bonus to agility. I don't really care about the fire defense though, but I'll take it. I mean my main goal is just to up her her uh, defense as much as possible. So I need... Let's make those. Can I make any more of those restless teeth? No. Okay, so I think we're kind of limited. Can't make any more of those. What about bandit helmets? No. What about weapons? Acid Sprayer 2. Be kind of interesting, but I'm not entirely convinced. What else can we make? I guess actually, let's go back down a tier. What is required to make regular space armor? Not much. Okay, so of these guys, what can they wear? 43 gold. Well, he is intelligence and stamina. Chance of crit and some nature damage. I'm just going to put that on him. I guess we should probably look at, like, Noel and company. Oh, he is not level 17. That is actually kind of embarrassing. Why don't we sell some of those moon staves? Because, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of those just sitting around that I have no use for. We'll sell the woodcutter's uniform. I can probably get more of those at a certain point. Holy shoot, those give you a lot of bits. Actually, I should probably put the Iron Greaves on... Mono, Mono is stamina-based, right? Yes. So, gotta be level 20 for all of these. And that's it, actually. Okay, so let's get Mona up to level 20, Aiden up to 20... Noel up to 20. That still leaves us with a silly amount of money. Let's see. Mona. I'm just gonna clonk that there. We might as well have three parties rolling out at the same time. So, beetle assistance. Hard to come by. What was the one that I really liked? Money Jinx, but that requires desiccated horns and gall shells. Can I make either of those? No, and yes. Okay, so that gets us a whole bunch of desiccated horns. I don't know if I'm going to work on gourd support. I don't even know what I'm uh, going to do on a lot of these things, actually. That's okay. Oh, right. 
So this gets us money jinxes, which if I remember right, I actually really like. I mean, we might as well make a silly amount of them. If I remember right, these were actually quite useful across the board for people. And so we can see if any of these are like a direct upgrade. Looks like they also have no level requirement. Well, I guess this is a series that is not over yet. Oh, I might play some more of it tonight. Probably on stream. Maybe the end. That'd be kind of fun. Um, uh, it's one of those, a lot of people are being like, update your game! I pre-recorded all, <laughs> almost this entire series. Uh, actually, yeah, except for this episode, the whole thing was recorded before the game even came out. Uh, which has had some interesting effects. It worked out fine enough for me. So, no, this is Mona. Mona wants that stamina necklace. So what do I need? Int 43. Yeah, Mona is not an int character. Oh, we're we are out of money. Let's fix that. Let's see which of these is worse. Oh, because the iron greaves are are by far the best. Let's sell those. Mona's int needs to go up considerably. There we go. That should do the trick. Mona can now use one of these. Let's see. Eh, might as well go for the damage. Put on the Iron Greaves. Put on that. Actually put on that. Okay, so we're still missing a helmet for Mona. What do I need for the wolf hat? Nothing, actually. I'm surprised that none of them came out to be orange quality. Apparently, they are rough to roll. I don't know. Let's see. Health, health. Skill damage and vampirism. Strength, health, and chance to crit? Probably go with that. Okay, so that's worse. You got space armor. What are you wearing? Sailor's top. Yeah, we can probably switch that out. Might as well make a little bit more money here. Oh, and she can she can have a wolf hat too. This is Noel. So that's he actually. I might as well have my characters uh, rolling as much money farming as we can possibly roll. Okay, so Aiden doesn't have a necklace. Okay, so far so good. Is that is that about as well equipped as I can get him? This is Hoshi. I'm not surprised how poorly managed these characters are. I realize that that is like great, uh, extremely offensive to a lot of folks. Um, let's see, stamina. We do lose the crit, but I want that. I want that strength bonus. Okay, I should probably stop. Let's stop. Let's sell everything that I've got because all of this is useless, and we'll get back to the farm uh, next time. I will probably buff my main team up so they can really just roll through. Uh, the higher difficulty content makes some better gear. And her. Because she needs she needs way higher st stamina. Do we work on that now, actually? Because she's almost the most important character. Yes. Uh, the reason why I say she's probably the most important is because sh uh, we need stamina to work on all of these. And so the higher her stats, the better. Upgrade all buildings to a maximum level, including the fashion house, smithy, hunting lodge, and magic store. Character is afflicted with a debuff. He or she stops taking any damage. Wow. Okay, that's a thing. What hasn't been upgraded? I'm actually not sure what hasn't been upgraded. Ah, you. We need oak planks. Well, can I just make those? No. 
we need petroleum. To get petroleum, we need more feathers, which means we need to do farming. Well, I guess with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Farming Forever. And as always, thanks for watching.